How's it going, Joker fam? It's your boy, Haha ha, Joker, aka the Black Joker, back at it again with another mad video for you guys. So, I making this video because I played some weekend league games, and as you guys can see from the title of the video, it it didn't go very well. Well, at least not to my liking. I at one point I was eleven and two, and because of certain plays now granted I can only give you two examples out of this because just going through my twitch videos uh, my twitch streams and trying to clip all of what happened through a good amount of these games it, it really started pissing me off so I only have two clips but because of these two clips is a big reason of why I I almost quit Madden altogether, at least for this year. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys one eclipse right now. How the f now, I don't know why he was able to get that in triple coverage. I, I can care less if it's because of abilities or whatever the case is. Here's the thing. If you're throwing passes into triple coverage, and that's the read you think you should make, and you get rewarded for that, that I, I'm going to get pissed off. Okay, Because here, here's the thing, right? Consistency, right? Now, I've thrown some bad passes. And whatever coverage it is, it will get picked off or whatever happens. Now, I've thrown passes in single coverage. Whether it be Calvin or Moss. Granted, a few times when I actually, when I was using Moss as an X Factor, I would throw picks in single coverage right but from what you guys saw within triple coverage nothing not even not even like a tipped pass and then he caught it afterwards nothing like it was a straight up dot that's what that was that's what ea would consider a dot i guess throwing a pass in triple coverage but i digress next up now i've seen quite a few people sit in this formation as far as this weekend league and i'm guessing it's going to be the same thing next weekend you guys let me know if you've seen people run this formation this i don't know what it's called i forgot the name of it but i do state it in the clip so you guys let me know if you've seen this Now, granted, whatever. Nano blitzes is, is what it is between DB Buzz Blitz out of 146 and now this. It just seems everybody's finding new ways to kind of dilute the game. Now, I can't get mad at people on YouTube for putting this information out there for people to use. But again, on this channel, I refuse to do it. Now, people can get pissy and mad. Oh, well, Joker, all you do is spam stretch. Stretch is a basic run play that can be stopped. It's very simple to stop if you know how to stop it without an issue. There, it just it is what it is. What you guys just saw was very, very stupid. Okay? It's an animal blitz and it is what it is. Now... At no point in time should any defensive player at all on a run play should be able to get in my backfield and tackle my quarterback before I'm able to hand it off. It's just that simple. Now, I don't work for EA. I don't know anybody that works in EA. I don't know how developing a game works. Nothing. Okay? But, 
but stay with me now. If I bake cookies, right, and I plan on selling these cookies out to people, I should at least try the cookies before I start giving them out to other people to eat. Now, I don't know how they do it in, you know, EA's office, but in my personal opinion, if, you know, let's say I make the game, right? And I'm now testing the game out. If I saw half the shit that I just showed you guys in this clip, in these two clips that I showed you, I would probably be like, hey, you know what, maybe we should go back to the drawing board on this because this doesn't look right. Something's not right with what just happened here. Now, let's get one thing straight. Last year, okay, there was such thing as a stumble mechanic, which everybody knew full well of. There was something called never stumble that you can put on your player so you don't have to click the stick. In other words, never stumble. Now, you will still get a stumble animation, but you will automatically recover out of that stumble. Two, because it was so run-heavy, this meta, apparently, and nobody can stop the run and this and that, EA decided to incorporate back into the game, because so many people complain about the run meta, they incorporated back in stumble. But they never brought back Never Stumble. They never incorporated that, but they kept, they brought back Stumbling. The only way you can get out of it now is not from an ability, which was Never Stumble last year. The only way you can get out of Stumbling this year is by clicking the stick. Now, this was their somewhat quote unquote way of trying to down, like, dial back running in the game. Okay, cool. But obviously it didn't work. So, next up, they tried to fix, so run committing. They tried to fix it, make it better, still broken. But I digress, they tried to fix it. But now, people have nano blitzes. Now, stuff like DB Buzz and the that glitchy nano blitz that you guys saw when my quarterback was tackled before he was able to hand the ball off, this is why I keep, and I'm going to say it until, I, I, I'm going to say it now, I'm going to say it until I become a bigger time YouTuber, I'm, I'm going to continue saying it until they implement it in the game. If you have time to make the adjustment, you should be able to, you know, go ahead, click through, click through each whatever old lineman and assign blocking assignments. Now they do it in real life. Okay, the center typically is assigning blocking assignments, whether it be pass blocking or whatever, IDing the mic, this and that. There's a lot that goes on on the field. And if EA wants a realistic game, I feel like blocking assignments needs to be a thing. Because here's my problem. This game is too dependent on AI that the AI completely dumbs out. There should be no reason... If, if I can see on the line of scrimmage where the blocking assignment should be, there should be no reason why my guard on that play should be pulling out and blocking somebody else when the person he's supposed to be blocking is square in front of him. EA, please, next year, implement blocking assignments. If I have time to make the adjustment, I should be able to do it. Put a blocking assignment on somebody. I don't care if you're doing it on one side of the field. I really don't care. It doesn't have to be the entire line across the board. If it just needs to be on one side of the field that you want blocking assignments, fine. I'll take that. You guys seen it a whole bunch of times. All right. I'm in shotgun, have my tight end to the right, have my running back to the left. Motion my tight end out to pick up a block, call hike, and somebody comes rushing right off the left side of the ball. Running back doesn't even see him. Don't know why, but if I could assign my running back a blocking assignment hey pick up this person fine there you go now that's your assignment you pick that up and now i got protection i don't need sliding protection i don't need it because sometimes i do it and cpu still dumbs out allow me to take full control over my offense and pick up regular blocking assignments my guard takes this my my center takes this, or my guard can take the blitzing, the whoever I think is blitzing. The same thing on the opposite side. 
My left tackle takes the end. My running back takes a corner that continuously keeps rushing off the edge. No matter if I slide my my O-line that way, my pass protection that way, no matter. He's going to keep coming off the edge. My running back is going to keep stepping up, blocking nobody, and I'm going to keep getting sacked. Put blocking assignments in the game. You guys can bring stumbling back into the game to, down, to dial back running, but you guys can't do something as simple as blocking assignments. It's a realistic thing. Do it all the time in the NFL, should be able to do it now. But those were two instances that put me in the position that I am, that I have 16 wins in Weekend League, which I had the opportunity to actually place top 100. But because of things like that happening in the game, I ended up with 16 wins. Well, 17 to be exact, but, you know, it is what it is. I'm only going to give rewards for 16. But, yeah. That's my little rant as far as dealing with, dealing honestly with Weekend League. Because I don't run into that much BS when it comes to just playing head-to-head. -head. Only in Weekend League that I run into the absolute dumbest of things. But, again, for whatever reason, the like I said, the game is put too much into the CPU's hands. Alright? The AIs for the old line don't do what they're supposed to do all the time. But if I could assign blocking assignments, they will do what they're supposed to do all the time. Now, granted, I do understand that there are things as block shedding that happens. Cool, I don't care. As long as there are, there is a body on somebody, I do not care. I should not have my old lineman, especially a guard at that, streaking downfield to pick up a safety when there's a man right in front of you that you are letting run by untouched into my backfield. Shouldn't be happening, but it is. And at the end of the day, in my opinion, and I'm, I'm going to be saying it through the remainder of the year. So if you guys don't like hearing me bitch, moan, and complain about, well, you're, you're not going to get uh, O-line protection like that. You're not going to be able to control your O-line. If you guys don't like hearing it, find yourself another channel to watch. It's just that simple. But... I, I could see why people like Xerxes and everybody else just stop playing Weekend League. Because Weekend League has the absolute biggest amount of bullshit in the game. The biggest amount. But it is what it is. What can you do about it? You know? But I'm gonna be, be I'm going to be, be preaching this through the remainder of this year, the next Madden, the Madden after that, Madden after that. So don't like it, get used to it. Because I'm gonna be doing a lot of it on this channel. All right, gameplays, whatever. I'm, I'm going to keep preaching it every time I see it because it happens way too often. An old lineman is supposed to pick up somebody, whether it's right in front of them or pick up a linebacker, whatever the case is. Now, I'm not saying that my right side, my right side tackle or my right side guard should be able to go pick up a, you know, a, a linebacker on the opposite end and I'm running the ball this way, okay? Like, if my right side guard is going to pick up a left side linebacker and I'm running the ball left side, I'm not saying that, okay? I'm not saying that whatsoever. What I am saying is that if I'm running the ball and I'm running the ball right side, and let's say if I want my right side guard to go upfield and pick up the left side linebacker, that shouldn't be too much to ask. That should be able to be done. That's not that's not insanely crazy. That that should be doable. Now, granted, there will be probably no reason why I would need to do that or want to do that. But if I wanted to, I should be able to do it. Because it makes sense. If there's nobody in front of my right guard and I'm running a stretch to the right side, then yeah, my right side guard, if there's nobody in front of him, should be picking up the next force, which is going to be the backside linebacker, okay? It, it's just the way it is, especially out of the formation I run because sometimes I don't have a freaking uh, D tackle to worry about. My center takes a D tackle. My right, side line, my right side guard has a linebacker. My right tackle kicks out the end or the D tackle, and my tight end picks up the end. I have another tight end that should be picking up the outside linebacker. Everything should be flowing, but no. We have instances like this where somebody just rushes up the A-gap and my quarterback gets tackled. Going to be putting out another video talking about 
a little bit of a change that they made with golden tickets and also they possibly should be should be bringing out free agencies okay the free agent promo that they had last year they should be doing it again this year so we're probably looking at you know players such as Clowney, byron jones possibly andy dalton different players mariota stuff like that we should be having some of those players coming into the free agency but we'll see i'll get more in detail i'll probably get more in detail with it in the next video but that's the end of this video more of the story ea honestly to make a long story short just give us blocking assignments for the old lineman i don't care if you got to put an ability on a center and his awareness needs to be 95 or whatever the case is i don't care allow us to have blocking assignments in the game let us have more control over the game that we pay 60 bucks for some of us a hundred bucks for the added content this and that that's all i'm asking for but we'll see maybe i'm tripping maybe it's just me maybe i just have bad luck who knows comment down below your opinions but with that being said guys that's gonna be the end of the video make sure you guys like subscribe to the channel check your family support means a lot to the next one guys peace